So there are lots of organisations out there who want to do better when it comes to the representation of women at the highest levels. And what I'm just going to assume is that it's just a given that we all understand why that's a good thing, right? So there is lots of evidence that absolutely shows that having women represented at the highest levels and ensuring that they're actually treated inclusively uh, and that they're made to feel that they belong, that that brings benefits to the organisation. So I'm just going to assume we all know that and that's a given. So for the organisations that want to do better at including women at that highest level, and a lot of these organisations, they have very good representation of women when it comes to entry level positions. They even have pretty good representation of women when it comes to middle management. But when it comes to the top level, so the seats at the board table, the general managers, the C-suite, they're still really underrepresented when it comes to women. And so some of these organisations, when they tell me about this challenge, what they say to me is that, well, we just can't get enough women to apply. Uh, and so what we think the answer is, is to send women on a course to get, make them better. So let's send women on a course on how to become, how to become more confident, uh, how to become more ambitious. Uh, women need to learn how to better manage their time or how to become more efficient. But I just want to say no, that is not the answer. So if you want better representation of women, it's not about fixing them and sending them on some course. It's actually about removing the barriers within that organisation. So in order to remove the barriers, there are certain things that organisations need to do. And this is something that I would really, really like to help organisations with. One of the things that I've done following my PhD research is that I worked with the New Zealand Army to help them with how they can remove barriers to the successful advancement of women in the organisation. And one thing that I'm absolutely convinced of is that if you remove these, remove these barriers to help women progress, it will absolutely benefit men as well. So if you'd like to find more about this, excuse me, if you'd like to find out more about this in terms of how to advance women within your organisation, how to get better representation of women at the top levels, how you can change your structures to make that happen in a way that also benefits the men, get in touch. I'm Dr. Ellen Joan Nelson and my website is ellen.com. Joan Nelson.com. Thank you very much.